Hi guys, I'm going to talk about a pretty touchy subject here, and it's customizing your events to accept your own event archetypes. And when you're using your own event archetypes, you need to define your own event handler types. So, in my example here, I have a control called the special control that I've defined. And whenever you move it left, the appropriate event will be raised. And I'm handling this event in the main form so I can display it up on the form's text. So if you move it right, nothing happens. But if you move it left, then the move left event will raise. Okay, so let's take a look at this special control. So I'm going to keep track of the last X position to contrast with the current X position. And then down below here, I am creating an event from the defined delegate below, which is at the bottom of the code. I'll show you that later. And this is what will be hooked by the main form. So I'm going to make it red so it's visible. And then I'm going to set the last position as the current position at startup so I can avoid any in initial unwanted behavior. I'm going to use the move event in conjunction with our own just to make things easier. If this control has moved left, then we want to calculate how much it has moved left and then construct the event args which are defined below. I'll talk about that later. And we're going to define our own event args here, pass in uh, the move amount, and then below here we're going to raise the event and pass in our event args to the uh, event. And then the event args will be available to any object that has registered to the move left event. When we're done calculating, save the last x position to contrast with the current position the next time the mouse move event is raised. This is the method defined for the mouse left event. Mark this event as private if you will never override it, otherwise mark it as a protected virtual. Check to see if the event is handled anywhere, in simple terms of course, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's basically what it's doing in this if signature here. This is where you send data to event handlers. Send the object related to the event as first argument, in my case the form. Send in E, which is the event args passed in from the on mouse move event with the move amount data. Below here is where the magic is. I've defined my delegate type here, and you need to define your own delegate when you're using your own event argument types with events. So this delegate is designed to uh, provide a hook to our events when we're using an event that has the mouse left event arg type. And that's a bit hard to grasp, but once you understand that, then you'll realize why we're making our own events. And sometimes you can use predefined event arg types that are built for other events, for your own events. You can just type in event args and take a look at the different type of event args and then you can create instances of these event args and see what properties they hold and what type of data you can pass through them and that will determine whether or not you want to use it or create your own. Below here I've defined my event args to hold one integer. Uh, if you need your class to hold more data that's perfectly fine. So in conclusion the methods used in this video should help you to send information back to the handlers that are handling the event you have defined. So in my case, I'm registering to the event in the special control from this main form here, and I can access this move amounts property that gives me the amount the control has moved left. I can also use the sender object, and I can cast that object to retrieve the object that has sended me this data, which would be just this special control. You can also send data back to the handlers using the sender object or the first argument. This is not recommended because you need to cast the object when you receive it and it also may confuse other programmers. This project here is heavily commented and it will be in the sample section of my page and you can expect it there.